And we're back! Okay, so... Yes, the sun is on the rise. I have a feeling that this might be a really good day. I'm going to continue clearing out some of these trees. I'll make this into wider territory so I can see what I'm working with. And I understand some of you probably are like, Save the trees! I completely understand that. And that is a good thing to think about. But for now, I like to see what I have to work with as far as land goes, and then get myself up and going. Maybe make like a sort of kingdom, maybe, with all this? Yeah. That would look really nice. Alright. And, let's see here. More, ki more, more hilly. Looks like a lot of woods for a long ways round. Okay, let's start cultivating around the lake, and then from there, we'll see where we're at. And there is still that dungeon right there. If we came in, grabbed some torches, rushed it, and then put all the torches on so that very few zombies spawned, we could take that dungeon and make that part the beginning of our glorious empire. Or at least the kingdom which we're going to be building. Oh, wood. Okay. So, for the moment, let's just go until this axe breaks. I also apologize early on because, yeah, I'm starting off as a YouTuber, so if there's periods of silence where I'm just working, um, my apologies. It's a floating tree! Oh man, I'm just gonna clear out all the trees around this and leave that as a landmark. Yes. Okay. <laughs> If that's- no wait, I think I spawned in- yeah, I spawned in the lake. So, I can't really say that that's where I spawned, but yeah, that could be like a really cool landmark. Alright. The floating tree of the forgotten lake. Alright. Not too shabby. Alright. Let's grab some of this birch here. And then we can head back, grab some more coal, grab some torches, then go get that iron down there. Maybe see how far back that cave, this cave goes. And snatch the iron, and yeah. Also we need to get working on a food source. My food is dropping. And I'd prefer not to die of starvation, so. Well, then again, I also do have apples to last me until I get situated. So, wouldn't be the end of the world. Alright. Yes, that dungeon is going to be conquered very soon. For a moment, let's grab some seeds. Is the sun- Okay, I thought the sun was going down. It's like, we've barely even started. Aww. Man. Okay, so. Come on, one, two more seeds. Then I can have bread growing. Well, for the moment, let's work on a stone pick. Then I can live off these. Apple a day keeps the doctor away, kids. <laughs> Don't know if there are any uh, I don't know if there are any doctors in these parts. I remember however seeing like, over there there was something. Alright, I keep hearing zombie around here. Which kinda gets me a little bit worried whether or not it will inhibit my sleeping abilities. So let's make a couple sticks up. 
make ourselves a pick. Ooh, bonzes. Alright. Let's go get that iron. Oh, that's another thing that might be nice. Have like a bridge system or something. Or at least decent roads. <laughs> that would definitely help. Alright. Oh! Torches, that's what I was missing. I was thinking that I was missing something. I wasn't quite sure what. Get some coal, then we can start on our expedition of the caves. Light some places up. Yes, that is going to be my main goal. To conquer that area and build there. Alright, so... How much coal will there be? Not much. <laughs> so, let's build ourselves in that case. We got plenty of wood. So let's build ourselves a furnace. I suppose that'll work. And build ourselves some charcoal. Keep on expanding this area. Let's see how far back this can go without hitting a cave. Pretty nicely. Wait a sec, six cool? I don't remember that much. Alright, so keep on mining. More coal, more coal. Good, good, okay. This is a lot of coal. I'm a coal miner! Yay! Okay. Got torches, got... Oh. Whoa, lag. Lag, okay. That right there. The full boarding, the full... For boarding, <laughs> we're gonna board up the hole. <laughs> More than likely, real talk, we probably are gonna board it up. However, once we loot it, there's not gonna be any other reason than to make it into like a grinder of some sort. That would be probably one of the wiser courses of action. Now, this is why I wanted to chop down all these trees so I can move around, have less trees to ram into yeah ow whoa hi how far down does this go down to here um, any signs Man, this is deep. I think I remember seeing that hole. Yeah. More iron. Good signs. I believe the dungeon is right down there. So, let's hope none of them drop in on us. In the meantime, that's lit up. Let's head down here. Alright. Let's head this way first. Alright. Golly, this goes deep. Alright, let's head back up. Yes, I know, I'll pro yes, I know, quite a few of you are probably going to wonder why I'm not taking any of this. I'm going to grab it.
Please tell me there are no skeletons in this cave system. Okay. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna head up to the second level, or whichever level these are. Kinda lost track at after that first run. Alright, so what time of day is it? Nightfall! Great. Alright, so I've discovered quite a bit of the cave. I think I'm gonna run over to bed. Make a mad dash round. Come on. I can make it. It's possible. Oh gosh. Enderman already? Okay. Make it in. Make it in. Woo! Alright. So, since that felt a little bit short, I'm going to continue this episode and bring you f and yes, we've explored most of that cave. So, I think what I'm going to do, sheep get out of my way. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself a stone shovel, and I am going to dig around and make this place a lot easier to run through. Also, if anybody has any ideas for what else I could do, that would be greatly appreciated. So, like, what else should I do on this channel? What, does pe what do people want to see? So in the meantime, I'm probably just going to collect all this. And then work my way back around to the caves. And uh, actually, no. Food source is probably the first priority. So, yes. Let's get food first. Ah, did not mean to do that. All right. Yeah. Okay, now we've got that cave system mostly covered. Let's start thinking about food while we can. We got ourselves a nice shelter. We got ourselves quite a few really nice cave systems here. Most of them unexplored. But, you know, there's still the possibility of finding other stuff. So, um, we can blast through this. Enderman. Well, I suppose the advantage with an Enderman is I'm still able to jump into the lake, so... That would be the one advantage. If I did stare at him accidentally, so... Endermen are probably not the worst of my fears. Now, skeletons! I've had a few close calls with that bunch. Alright, almost there. Just sort of clear this up. So it's a nice wide road all the way. Sweet. Now, let's get a food source going. And for now, I think I'm gonna waddle. Alright, so. Nice sheep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, dude. Sorry. Um. What is that? Hold on, let's stop in this area, because I kind of trust, half trust this. Let's go to um, video settings. Let's move the render distance up a little bit and see what in the world that is. What am I talking about? So the render distance looks like it's higher than it was, but it looks like I can't really see farther, so that's... But I guess it is still loading in. So let's get ourselves a good, another seed. Then maybe we can make like ourselves, then we can make ourselves maybe a sheep farm. Then make 
Ooh, if we find a name tag in that dungeon, maybe we can find a disco sheep. Yes. Find a name tag, get one of these sheep in a pen, and name and name it a disco sheep. Well, not name it a disco sheep, but name it so it's made a disco sheep. Yes. You sir might be one of the happy candidates to become a disco sheep. Drop the mic. I would, but I really can't because it's a part of my headset, so. My apologies if I'm not able to drop the mic. But then again, why would you want to hear someone dropping the mic? It probably hurts the ears. Anyway. Hey! Alright. This is a really painfully nice setup. I really don't want to lose this. Alright. So we also got our caves over here, which are lit up nicely, if I may add. You know, eventually we need to cultivate that, or at least take that dungeon. Maybe the next episode. I mean, once I get this farm going, I have five seeds, one already going by the water, put these all together, stock up on food. By that point, I'll pro. By that point, I'll have full iron. At least I'm thinking I'll have full iron by that point. And then we can attack the dungeon. So, one, two, three, four, five. No. Even though it looks like it's a really nice place to walk, Mr. Sheep, you do not want to walk there. Take my word for it. It's not pretty, because this is what happens. And since it looks like you're already standing there, I'm sorry. Yes. Bye. Okay. So, in the meantime, let's collect some iron. I wonder how boats would work, because, I mean, it's sort of that little bridge underneath. Which really, in itself, looks really neat. And I'm thinking maybe, like, I could... If I conquer that and light that up, take the dungeon, and then I know there's cave systems up there, so take over the cave systems, then plunk a castle right in the cliff. Like, yeah, I can see that being really neat. Alright, back to the caves. Alright, let's get this collecting. Alright, that's a nice haul of iron. Eight iron, one haul. Hmm. Not sure if that's usual or unusual. Where am I? Tor did I really use up all my torches? Guess so. And did I go down here? Yes, I did. Did I go up here? That leads to the overworld. Did I go over here? That leads to the dungeon. However, I'm willing to risk the chance of a zombie dropping in. That's the dungeon. And so I think I'm going to wrap it up right there. And then thank you so much for watching.